where to visit in thailand how to book hotel in thailand bangkok has a hustling night of some of the best market shopping and is a bad but hot spot plus its historical sites and fabrical and culture make it a well-rounded and fascinating place to visit the city has some of the most varied spices and tasty street food i have ever tried here is my ultimate bank of travel guide to help you plan your thailand experience how to book a hotel in thailand that i'm showing you now what to expect in bangkok language thai is the local language although all young people are taught basic english at school and many signs were written in english currency thai baht is the local currency credit cards and banks atms are common while most places accept credit cards it is wise to use cash where to possible as card fraud can be a big problem let's talk about climate bangkok is hot humid throughout the year with average highs above 90 degrees fahrenheit and lows around 70 degrees throughout the year april is the hottest month september is the wettest and december is the coldest the peak season rain is the most common between may and october meaning most winters can between november and april culture it is considered good to eat directly off a pork is customary to use a fork to push food onto a spoon and eat from that also be sure to cover up your eyebrows and knees when visiting temples out of respect water don't drink the tap water stick to bottled please now i am telling you why to visit in thailand and how to book hotel in thailand getting around in bangkok getting around bangkok is easy using the bts skyten and elevated train system throughout the city keep the rules in mind when planning your itinerary for bangkok sukumbi home to the upmarket business center of the city and many of the most popular nightlife venues you will also find the best places to shop here within slam square riverside you will find most of the most luxury hotels scattered along the river offering stunning views and a good base to exploring most of the tourist attractions Khao Sound Road This is the back place center in the Bangkok This is a back place central in Bangkok and is home to some popular cheap hotels there are bars along with historic also man for one of the oldest remaining fortifications in the city unfortunately the sky train isn't super accessible from this area so 
keep that in mind. Ratna Koshin, the old town. This is where many of the historic sites of the city are located, including the Grand Place and Amazon Buddha statue at Wapo. Siam. During that day, this part of the city is a busy financial district, but at night, it transforms with vibrant and illicit nightlife. You can find great street food here, but you also might encounter some bubbles. This it. The part of the city is where King Rama he built his sprawling Dusit place complex. The district is home to most of the political and administrative buildings of the government along with a wide range of museums and temples. Why to stay in Bangkok? Bangkok has a wide range of accommodations to satisfy any budget. If you are looking for a budget stay, check out hotels, hostels and rentals around Khao San and Bang Lampo, where public transportation is as connected in this part of the city. You will find more budget to mid range. the neighbor roads of Silom, Sukhumbi or along the river in Bangkok. Here are some of the top hotels in Bangkok and my favorite places to stay. Banyan Chi Bangkok, a large hotel at the heart of the city. The Banyan Chi has wonderful views from the rooftop restaurant, large rooms and a magical center and an outdoor swimming pool with its own and city views. Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, a spectacular luxury hotel and its own gardens, waterfall locations and some tastefully decorated rooms. The Mandarin is Oriental is a top and luxury hotel in Bangkok. Lux Languin Hotel. This modern boutique hotel will fool you into thinking it will break the bank with rooms starting at 50 US dollar per night. You can enter all the amenities need in a sleek and comfortable space. It is also in a great location to walk to some restaurants and some bars, but it is certainly outside of central Bangkok, about a 50 minutes walk. Shangri-La Hotel this resort offers more amenities, restaurants and services and you could believe situated on Chao Pra River and just a short train right away from downtown. The Shangri-La Hotel offers a grand and luxurious stay. One could switch back. This modern and bright hotel has a beautiful terrace, garden and pool area. In addition to super comfy rooms, the view is stunning and the location is perfect for exploring plus. They offer a continent breakfast and free Wi-Fi. It's high rated for a season.
required to eat in Bangkok. And the Thai night later in today. Bangkok has been voted for the best in the world when it comes to street food. So, you have to try some authentic dishes while you are visiting. The best place to grab street food is from the local markets. I rated street food stalls or join Bangkok food food. If you join Asian flavors, party and some spice, Bangkok will have an If it's your first time in Thailand, I recommend trying some of the classic dishes like Som Tiam, Khao, Swai, Pad Thai, Lab, Masam and Curry or Penang Curry. I have outlined some of the best restaurants and street food stalls to eat from in Bangkok. Street food stalls. The fast food. With countless food stalls and markets throughout the city, you can come in back home without trying a few of the local flavors. Street food is a huge part of the local culture and something not to be missed. I in the line if I said I was a little bit intimidated by the offerings of street vendors upon arriving in Thailand. This street food guide will provide fast time travelers with some insight into Thai street and culture. Some of the top street food stalls in Bangkok are here. Ranjal Phai, female owned and the only street food vendor included in the Michelin Star Guide to Bangkok. This place is always busy but worth the wait. Nihom Ring Kong Then to come outside of lunch hours, otherwise you'll be waiting in line for a while. So come with Swai 33, offering super food, Thai food at a great prices. This vibrant area of the city is where many locals mix with visitors to grab a bite to eat before eating the town. Lampo Chi Thai Strand Lampo Chi is a high strand right along the Kwai Canal serving delicious Thai food, curries, and more. I love the atmosphere here, perfect for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lampo Chi Thai Strand is my favorite one, Thai and Asian. Pal, the house of Satron. Pali serves modern Thai seafood is one of the Bangkok's iconic landmarks. The house of Satron, which is a major hit as building in 1889. Pali's amazing reviews speak for themselves. Shirako at Libua. While international and Mediterranean cuisine here is especially tasty. It is a little on the price side, especially by Thai standards. But the amazing views is on the 63 third floor. But make this perfect place to enjoy a cocktail or two. Mango tree. Mango tree offers great Thai food and a full menu of wine, beers, and cocktails just steps from the bustling business district on Silong Road. Plus, the restaurant is surrounded by a great garden of ancient mango trees, making for a special atmosphere. Nangin Ginkui Bangkok Private Dining. No 
known by as the best Miami Explorer games in Bangkok. This small and cozy restaurant is in a city apartment offering some great view. If it moves, it really feels like you are a guest at a friend's house or for dinner. It's the perfect place to place, have an excellent Thai food and meet other travelers. I'm telling you how to budget your money in Thailand and Thailand not left today. Bangkok is lively, eccentric and traditional all in one. It is such a unique experience. There are hand to luck captivity, never boats and water sports to explore, dishes to be eaten, stalls to shop and historic establishments to see. Plus, you will find luxurious shore spas hotels here. If you are into that kind of thing, here are the top things to do when traveling in Bangkok. Chatu Chak Weekend Market With over 15,000 stalls, which Chatu Chok Weekend Market offers everything from clothing and counterfeit football, shirts to fresh food and souvenirs. It's a great introduction to Thai shopping. River Boat Tour. There is no better way to get a full tour of the neighborhoods in Bangkok by taking one of the various sightseeing river boat tours. <laughs> Ancient Siam Established in 1972, the Ancient Siam of the Siam city is large outdoor museum park shaped to reflect the map of Thailand and has beautiful representations of the country's oldest and most sacred buildings. This is the Council House. The home of the greatest American entrepreneur in Thailand from the 1960s. The House of the Silk Magnet Jim Thompson is now a museum and is surrounded by beautiful nature gardens. Explore Bangkok's parks. The tropical surroundings Bangkok are ideal for parks and gardens. The Lumhini Park in Siam are the largest in the city. Those around Para Suman Fort also offer a nice escape from the busy atmosphere of the city. Muay Thai. The Thai national sports is more than just kickboxing. It is an amazing blend of martial arts and fighting techniques. Muay Thai matches are regularly held in stadiums around the city. There are also classes offered for those looking to learn the basics. Grand place and what pole. After heart of the Bangkok's historic attractions, these spectacular buildings show the wealth and privilege and jet old Thai kings. It also shows off some of the best agriculture and honored decoration in the country. Take a foot tour. If you let us to mark, dictate your travels. That is no better way to explore Bangkok than with a guided food tour. I can recommend Bangkok Nighttime Temples, Markets and Food Tour enough you will get to 
it as some of Thailand's most iconic dishes and explore the city's vibrant night markets. I'm with us, Thai cooking plus. When most makers need to just taste the excellent Thai food, they visit to see Amit offers an insight into how to make Thai tastiest Thai dishes. She also has a lovely half garden where fresh ingredients are picked for the dishes. Visit the weekend night vintage chain market. This is the best place to find vintage and pre-loved clothing and items in Bangkok. The Road 5 market has everything from antiques to vintage car parts and a great selection of street food stalls. People watch in Swai Cowboy. Some home of the seediest bars in the city. This red light district is near Sukumbit Street and has a range of bars and cafes. It's a great place to see the nightlife of the city go by. Bizan visiting the Chatucha weekend market in Bangkok. Visiting the Chatham Weekend Market in Bangkok, Thailand is retail heaven. As soon as I walked in, I just about died from excitement. Everything you could possibly think of is sold at this market. So if you wanna bring some home, a little something, something definitely planned or coming here, I get some mango and sticky rice put on my grave face and got to work here what you need to know about the chatrukan market in bangkok chatuchok weekend market or chatuchok market is one of the world's largest weekend markets and covers an area of 35 acres and more than 15,000 booths selling goods from every part of Thailand. The market has covered 2 lakh visitors each day, Saturday to Sunday, with 70% being Thai and 30% foreign. Almost everything can be found here at a bargaining price, not a tourist price, and most vendors actually come from local factories or are local artisans. If you can jam it up, Chatujak market likely has it. Here you will be amazed at the incredible variety of goods where it's a Thai lantern, an antique painting, a stylish new pair of jeans or something more exotic, a new pet snake. I could not believe my eyes. You could buy a pet squirrel on a string nibble on some fried insects. Have a local artist and paint everything you want. Take home a giant goldfish. Score some new leather sticks. I would honestly have an easier time listing things you couldn't find here. There were even companies to arrange international shopping for big spenders. I had some self-control and left with my dignity some tinctures and enough Thai bath to get me through the rest of my stay in Thailand. I highly recommend trying the food mango sticky rice in a particular fave. While it's a bit of maze, enjoy the experience and you're sure to stumble 
upon some seriously good surprise. With 35 acres of retail heaven ahead, I knew I could easily spend a day of three at the market. For the first timers like me, navigating Chatuchok market some impossible, luckily the supermarket of actions based on category. So you are looking for something in particular you can find with the existing locating on the map. My advice if you're going first time is to get lost. You will be enhanced by the colors and smells surrounding you and your senses will be on their own adventures. Now I'm telling you why to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand and how to budget your money in Thailand. As someone raised my frugal parents, I've always then been pretty good at finding a good idea and knowing a fair price. When I see one, I turned on Haggy Wood and spent about three hours weaving and bobbing through the cramped excess of goodies like an experienced gypsy. At one point, I almost caught a case of overstimulation but luckily found the strength to get on. Don't hand immediately head to Chatuchak if it's your first time in Bangkok, Thailand. It's best to do something exploring and price shopping around the city to see what the going rate for a certain course and what a fair price is. Be wary of overpriced goodies in Bangkok, but also realize that if you are a visitor to this country, respect the culture, recognize that people are trying to make a living and go get your shop on. Take the Skytrain BTS to Mochi station, take exit number 1 and follow the route until you see rows of set windows, keep walking and entrance will be on the right. The hours is Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Chatuchak Market is amazing. Our first time we did exactly what you said. We closed. We just wandered around. We finally came up on a foot in Mice's place. It was perfect. Walk around for our shopping and eating, and then get a foot massage so you can go for another few hours. Hi, I'm Simon, California native who left my career in corporate finance to become a world traveler since I've been making it these things. Now I'm telling you where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand, and give you tips to spend your money in Thailand, the Thailand budget trip, Thailand budget trip 2003, and Thailand life of today. There were station destinations, Thailand types of trip, lifestyle, photography, travel shows. The in Thailand, I'm explaining everything to you. Now I'm telling you another things about their cultures and cities, and their hobbies, their tastes. Especially, I like to spend the cows on the road. Or if you want to spend money, you can spend in Sukhumvit, Suai Three, Suai Chao.
anything you could possibly think is so cold in market so if you want to bring some little something or something definite plan or coming i grab some of the most things in thailand that is jack jack market and a string you don't understand the pain it brings you don't ever want to give me wings you don't ever want to set me free you know i'm addicted to you and it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo got me coming back